Hello everybody, it's Shadow Slayer X and we're playing Pokemon again. Alright, so off screen I spent maybe like two minutes two minutes off screen. I went up, checked oh, there's the mouse. Uh went up, I checked, it was just more um rock smashable rocks, and down here is empty, so you have to go this way. Kinda made it easy. Do you know that you can avoid getting lost in the mountains? You can bend twigs as trail markers. Yeah. Can't do that in the game though. Picnic or Sophia with your Jigglypuff. Probably not the best person to put up against you. Um, the minute I go to sleep, I think just one smoke screen should be good. Alright. Let's see how much a twister will do. Pretty good. I'm not a dragon type yet, so I don't get the uh, special type attack bonus that Pokemon get. Like, so if you're a water type and use a water move, it'll be just a little bit stronger than if a different type that was not water used it. Alright. Yeah, we'll switch. I mean, like, how can I pass up a bird Pokemon and not use Rock Throw? This should be a Pidgeotto. It's fine. I can understand people who not who don't want to evolve their Pokemon. There are like tons of reasons. It's like, what if you have an indoor Pidgey? Right? Because if you have an indoor Pidgey, then you wouldn't want a Pidgeotto because then you might have that might have to be an outdoor bird. Oh no. Right. Like what if yeah, what if you keep your Pidgey in a cage in your house? I didn't mean I was dragon bird. Like, it's a big change from a Meowth to a Persian. Like, like, you can picture people going like, Oh, you can't get a cat, like, you're gonna have to take care of it, and all that stuff. Imagine it's like, well, that little cat that you had just turned into a giant... Well, I was gonna say Persian, but that doesn't really... Like, it turns into a giant cat. Like, like a panther, like, it's insane. Bad you, dude. I don't know if I should be going down. Oh, yeah, there's like one guy here. Hey, two dudes, more fodder for Kara to level up. When you're up on a rocky mountain like this, rock slides are great. Could you imagine boulders tumbling down on you? That'd be like, wow, total terror. You don't seem to be scared. You want to try using a rock slide? Uh, I hate that. You can only use this once. I don't know who I want to teach rock slide to. Get out of here. Can I even? No. I had to scroll up. Nope, you can't. Can you beat my power? Try. Hiker Dudley. They should have a trainer Dudley who uses dragon Pokemon. There used to be a TV show when I was a kid called Dudley the Dragon. Oh man. It was a definitely a children's show. Man, horrible stat gains. No, that's fine. Continue on. I can't remember in Pokemon Fire Red, you can't go back and beat the gym leaders. No. Like a round two gym leader thing, or there's a area where they all congregate? I don't think so. I know they do that later in games. I love going back and fighting them with, like, see them at their best. And it usually, like, mixes up the generations, too. up of that picnic or Sophia. I'm not sure. Um, it's 
that's an item. Good thing we went. It's probably an escape rope or something. Something we don't need. Could you imagine if they had put an item like deep in the bowels of a rock cave that you needed and it was actually out of your way? That would really suck. Good shot! I don't feel like catching one. I don't know if I told my story, but much like Graver, Graver, Graveler, and Gengar and Alkazam and all them, I had their second forms because you needed to trade to evolve them, and I was always so upset when I couldn't do it. Eh, there's no point of unnecessarily knocking out. Uh, Scar. I was gonna say Neil. Now, Shadow Punch should be super effective, right? Or is he not psychic yet? Nope, he's psychic. Just trying to weaken me. Nuh uh. Do 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 do. Another Slowpoke? Jeez. Oh, I don't know where I saw it, but there was a cute comic um, about slow pokes. Um, like, the Team Rockets came along. Well, I guess, I don't know if it was cute, but. Slow, the Team Rockets came along, and if anyone's played Silver and Gold, that they cut off the slow poke tails, and like, they sell them for like a million dollars or something. Um, and in in the video, uh, or not the video, in the comic, the slowpoke has his tail cut and he looks really sad and there's like a shelter in the water. And I think like the shelter looks at the slowpoke's tail, but since there's just a stump, right, there's like nothing there. Um, and then they both look sad and then the shelter like jumps on his head and he becomes a slow king. And then like they're both smiling. But, uh, and then, like, it, it cuts to the, the slope looking out at the sunset. And you can see, like, its tail's cut still. Like, it, it was sad, but it was, like, a really good comic. Maybe if I can find it, I can link to it. Are we out of here yet? Oh my. It's like we're at the gauntlet part now. So we have to be getting close. Don't try anything funny in the dark. I bet you want it. Leah. Oh, that's awkward. I know Leah. Alright. Let's bring out Neil. Doing some good typing. For once. Oh no, I can't escape. No! Alright, finish him off. Her off. Uh, I'm debating who to start with in Pokemon Gold. If it's Cyndaquil, that Bellsprout Tower is so easy. That forest is so easy. Uh, okay. Follow me. For, for some reason, I kind of like spaced out and thought he used Metronome. And I was like, uh-oh. But follow me. Ugh. Leah, that was a waste. Alright, who's this? Yes, I have Pokemon. Let's start. So, like, what if I didn't have Pokemon? Would they just beat me up and take my money? Who knows? Picnicker, Ariana. Pidgey. I think we can take out a Pidgey. We'll get our stab a bonus, special type attack damage. No, special type attack bonus. Not damage, that'd be stab. Goodbye, Pidgey. Oh, yeah, we're switching. We are too weak against Bellsprout. Bring it on, Bellsprout. When do we get Flamethrower? 
Oh, I, I swear I'm gonna get fire spin before I get flamethrower. It'll be like two levels difference or something. I like that they use their Pokemon out of order. I think that's kind of cool. They use what they think is their best against me. It's no use. Like, she used her first, her last, her second, and now her third. But it didn't matter. Take that, Ariana. Ariana. <laughs> Note to self, invest in repels when you have the money. Which probably out of after this. All those Pokemaniacs. One pearl. That sells for money. I have this weird feeling that running makes you run into Pokemon on more often than walking does but then that can be argued that it's because you're running that it seems like that I don't know. hello I came this far looking for wild Pokemon why are you telling me I don't have wild Pokemon get out of here Meowth. Meowth can kill me but let's see how much twister does Just use two twisters. Not taking chances. I want KR to evolve. That'd be great. Now, Oddish is super effective against me, but I'm just doing this to get a little bit of experience. It's pretty smart, actually, now that I think of it, of these people. They brought all these grass types into a cave fight like Jew dudes and stuff. Yeah, I don't care. I'll take a Pidgey. We just want to get this over with. Come on. I'm not a big fan of caves. It's going to be hell when we get to Victory Road. By then I'll have super repels or whatever. We'll be fine. Hey, there's a sign. Oh my god, we made it out. Okay, there should be an item over here or something. No? Nope. Not even a hidden one. Ugh. Watch this not even be the last one that we run into. You gotta wait safely. Yeah, yeah. Keep using the item finder there. And we're out. Oh my god, we did it. Now there's a few trainers to fight out here, and then I'll end the video in front of the Poké Center. Feeling a bit faint. Blah blah blah. Let's go. Come on. You're just loitering around outside. Ten damage. Yes. Even less. Oh my god, how great would it be to have Kingdra for the next episode. Very good, if, especially if I kill this thing. Oh, Pidgeotto just looks so cool. 10 damage. Yes, it was less. Yeah, and if I'm right, if I've been right this whole time, so horsey walls at level 32. Picnic or Carol? I'm too tired, I wasn't up for it. Doo 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 doo. Yes! Alright, everyone say hi to Cedra, because it's not going to be sticking around for long. I'm telling you, in my games, on my DS, this is how I play. I like them to 32, and then like, I'll box them, or I'll trade from my old games a Pokemon who has the Dragon Scale over. I'm hardcore, man. 
Yes, Seedra. Welcome to the crew. Uh, let's put Neil back up front. Ha. Ha ha. 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 How's it going, Clark? Hopefully, I don't get magnituded. Magnituded. Wow. Okay, I should still be able to knock you out with another metal claw. It's super effective. Use on XL switch. We'll use Cedra. Yeah, Cedra looks pretty cool. It was funny. I think when when Kingdra was first introduced, sorry, not Kingdra. Um, yeah, Kingdra. But when the second round of the Pokemon trading card game came out. I think I only got two holographic cards and one was Kingdra and the other one was like a promotional Entei. Yeah. The more you know, right? Oh my god! I didn't find her responding! Very no more. Well, that was interesting. That's how that worked. Do I fight this guy? Hi, kid. Want to see my Pokemon? That sounds creepy. Oh, it's one of these. Then we accept it. Now he's a ground type. Does fire effective, or is it medium? Medium. Oh lord. Alright, well, what I meant is it just does normal damage. Now I'm keeping Neil out just so that when I switch him, that he will level up to 32. Whatever. You know the shadow punches are coming. Ah, no critical hit. That's the first slowpoke to use water gun. That was a pretty successful run through the cave. I mean, like, I got a couple guys down to, like, no health, but... We got an evolution out of it. We got dragon breath. Got lots of money from these Pokemaniacs. Like, I think I have, like, at least 5,000 more bucks. Now I promise this is the last guy, and then we're going to the Poke Center. But yeah, we're in Lavender Town. You guys like pumped? Getting ready for the music? It is some good music. I can't believe it, we're gonna have three out of our six at final evolution stage. It's awesome. It's super effective. Yeah, we'll keep Cedra out. Now, I hope people don't misunderstand. I've had Steelixes, and I've had a Kingdra before, but never trained one specifically to fight the Elite Four. And probably, like, one of those two, if I just did any research, probably not the best choice. Like, Bruno will probably destroy Steelix, and etc, etc, etc. Get it ready? Do, do, do. Ghosts appeared in Pokemon Tower. I think they're the spirits of Pokemon that Rockets killed. That's really bad. Alright. Yes. Heal my Pokemon, NJ. Thank you. Thank you for waiting. We've restored your Pokemon full health. We hope to see you again. Alright. Next episode, Lavender Town. And probably the Tower. Alright, well, this has been successful. Next time, you'll see uh, Kiara as a fully evolved Kingdra. 
pretty awesome. So, this is uh, Bryce, Neil, Scar, Atticus, and Kiara signing off. See you next time.